fresh. Coming off a fight just two months ago. Wants to improve to that 2-0 here tonight. Mr. Jeff Cook, make your way to the ring, please. Mr. Jeff Cook. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for four rounds in the Super Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. His trunks red with white stripe. Official weight, 124 pounds. His record, zero and one. Representing Albuquerque, New Mexico, Richard Esquivel. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. His trunks all black with gray on top, representing Rockford Boxing Academy. Official weight, 124 pounds. His record, a perfect one. One win with one knockout. Okay. Representing Sinaloa, Mexico, Arturo Caribe. Let's go to the tail of the tape right here. Arturo Popoca, 21, 10 years his senior is Richard Esquive. They both have one fight. Popoco has a victory by KO. Esquive has a loss by KO. Only one inch separates them. 5'6 for Popoco, 5'7 for Esquive. Both orthodox fighters. Excited to see who's going to flip that record if uh, Popoco can get two wins in his win column and if Esquive can get that first victory in his professional career here. They both come out. Nice jab from Esquive. Yeah, what we see. And I think what we can do is like we'll be able to see what the difference is, especially with having like someone as senior as Wapa Garcia in the corner. So you know down there in the Riverside gym, there's gonna be a lot of experience that comes with that. Absolutely, yeah. World renowned trainer here in his corner here tonight for this young fighter's oh. early second fight in his career here. Yeah. Right away we've seen a lot of nice check hooks going on. Just as you mentioned it, one lands there. Yes, that's it. You see, he's throwing it right off the lead, too. Very nice jab there for Popoka. You guys, we'd like to welcome Richard Ortiz back into the booth with us now, too. Yes, he's splitting a little bit of time here. He's got a, he's working a double load. He's going to be in the booth with us. Also, go ahead and announcing and honoring these fighters as they make their way to the ring tonight. A little exchange there, nice little flurry. Well, Jen, to be honest with you, you said double duty. Sir, I almost pulled triple duty. I thought I was gonna sing the national anthem myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think we're gonna pause and wait for the main card here now since uh, Mr. Cook needed a little bit more time to warm up those vocal cords. Hey, Cook is gonna have everything cooking in just a bit. Yeah, yeah, he's, sense. you know, a, a, a good meal takes time. So we're gonna let him go ahead and, and, and stew that that voice there so he can get that national anthem off. Ooh, nice oh, uppercut. Nice uppercut. As a Steven comes forward, Popoco steps back, We're lands that nice uppercut. You can start to see some wear and tear you on the it. face of this guy already. already. That's yeah. it. That's and, and gentlemen, you know the thing about it is, is when, when you're Burley in your second professional fight, it doesn't matter if you're the A side or the B side. These fighters are coming to fight tonight, and you couldn't tell who's the A side and who's the B side. Absolutely, and but I do like the poise that Popoco has in this early, you know, part of the fight, first round. He seems very calm, very collected, and you see he's kind of becoming the aggressor. Lands a nice right hand to the temple there on Esquive. Does Popoco? I love the way he baited his opponent in. Nice head movement as well, showing all kinds of skills here so far in this first round. And like I said, this this has everything to do with the gym that he's in right now. When you got someone like Robert Garcia in your corner, you're gonna have a lot of experience. That's kind of oh, cool. huge left like it's nothing, but you know that hurt him. It put him down hard and fast. He says he's ready to go. Let's see. Let's see what it is. And this is what I'm saying, the experience. And we're seeing it. 
Oh, nice feint. Oh, oh, nice right hand oh, oh, left hook to the body. Oh, he is one wobbly legs, fellas. Yes. As you can see, the referee's already engaging. And oh, nice that check hook. hook's been landing all night. Oh, that left hook to the body. Comes back upstairs with the right. Ten seconds left in the first round. Smart. And see, you know what? He sees his prey hurt, and he's just taking his time. Lead left hook. Wonderful first round there, guys. I mean, I think we can all say the same thing. We saw it go one way here, and that's for uh, Popoka here in that first round. He did some damage, knocked him down. He looks so comfortable in the driver's seat so far in this fight. Yes. Yeah. And you know, Shelly, I just said it doesn't matter what they bring, and known to me, he was setting a trap. Yeah, patient, very methodical and calculated in that first round. And like you said, he comes out such a high-level gym and a high-level trainer. You know he's got great competition every day in the gym. And you walk in with a certain confidence when you know you've been testing yourself the whole camp every day in the gym. That's right. You know, I can concur with exactly what you said. I have the honor of uh, visiting Robert Garcia's boxing academy. And during their sparring sessions, everybody stops what they're doing because it's high-profile pay-per-view status when you're in there. All right, you guys, let's get ready for this second round. Let's see what comes. Second round, myself, Brandon Kyle, Shelly Hollis, Richard Ortiz calling round two. Rising stars, Toscano Boxing. You guys are watching the free prelims here. Toscano providing for you boxing fans here to get a little taste of the action tonight as we have Arturo Popoca in the black shorts and Richard Escube in the red shorts. Uh, Escube took a, a, a knockdown in the first round, and he's coming out. He's trying to make those points back up right now, it looks like, fellas. You know what? He is holding on, but you know what? When he lets his punches go, you got to keep that chin tucked in. That's basic. That's boxing. That's defense. And there we go with a nice stiff jab. Especially like you said, you saw Popoka uh, setting traps earlier. When you get a little too aggressive, that's where you fall victim to those traps set by Popoka. Okay, hey, and we're rolling right here. I guess we got to ignore what it says on his shorts. Right there, right above the. Uh, oh, oh, now this nice. is the first right hand that we've seen land. If you guys are paying attention, he's been hitting him up with stiff jabs and that check left hook. You know, yeah. Shelly, what I, what I like out of Popoka is, you know, his his just his patience alone. I mean, he's not even started off with jabs. He's simply countering with that left hook and that right hand to the body. And, it's, and as far as the way he's cutting off the ring, it's perfect right now. And there we go. Again, that's the Robert Garcia trademark. And hey, and and that's it. Oh, referee Ed Calvacante calls a stop to this fight in just the second round with a minute and a half left. I think he'd seen enough. I think he realized that uh, that Esquivel was being outclassed in that fight. And in and, 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 and a young fighter's career, yeah. you know, you want to make sure that they have a long...
you know, he was just a little outclassed tonight. Um, and so, yeah, it, it was a great start to this uh, Rising Stars card here in Stockton, California. Exactly. And Robert, again, always such a good gentleman. You see, he's going over there congrat you know, congratulating his opponent and things like that. So I'm even sure his words of encouragement is going a long way with this young man. And I, and I have to give it to his teammate. You know, he got knocked down in the first round. He, could, he really marched. He came forward. He tried to take momentum back at the beginning of the second round. But it just wasn't enough. And your winner out of the Robert Garcia camp here. Second fight, second finish. Looks like this kid has got the skills that he's gonna need to climb the ranks in professional boxing. Let's keep an eye on him definitely. It was an honor to have him uh, on his second professional fight here on the Toscano's boxing card. Our first fight back really since the pandemic in California, kind of home for Toscano. It's been Stockton, it's where they started. Yes. 